Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In today's video we're going to take a look at how we can create designs like this simple kitten design. I'll be showing you how you can make custom brushes for drawing the whiskers and I'll also be showing you how you can adjust your lines to give them a more natural appearance. So to get started with our blank canvas I'm going to just drag in a guide from the left hand side. This can be the centre line for our kitten's face. I'm then going to come up, I'm going to grab the Bezier tool and we're just going to draw one half of a love heart. So we start in the middle, or we need snapping enabled. Snapping and make sure you've got snapping to guides enabled. So we snap to here. So we can just come on. And we can create our half our nose. I'm going to come up, get the nodes tool, just give it a little bit of adjustment. I'm then going to, while it's selected, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. If we click on it again to get our rotation handles and rotation center, we just drag the rotation center so it snaps to the guideline. And then we can come up and flip it horizontally. We can then drag a box over the two and we can go up to path down to union. So it becomes one love heart. So that's the love heart for the kitten's nose. What we can do is we can turn it, we come down, find a nice pink. That's quite a nice pink. We've got a, a stroke already on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stroke to make a, a thicker line and then I'm going to alter it so it looks more hand drawn. So to do this, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. We can come down, right click on our um, path width or stroke width down the bottom here, and we can come up and get a thicker line. We can get rid of the fill color by pressing on the X. So now what I want to do is I want to make this um, stroke look more hand drawn. To do that, I'm going to get my selection tool. We're going to select the stroke and move it off to one side so we can see what we're doing. I'm then going to come up to path and I'm going to go down to stroke to path. What that's done, well that doesn't look like it's done much. So if we grab the nodes tool, this stroke is now a path in its own right. So what we can do is come in and adjust the nodes. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can just tweak some of these so it looks just a little bit more hand drawn. So you make that a corner node. Actually, we've got snapping on that's what's jumping about. There we go. So, what I'll do here is I'll get rid of a couple of nodes. So, I'm going to drag over two of them, press delete, and we get rid of those. I'll move that up a bit. Like I say, just by making small adjustments, you can make our hearts look a little bit more hand drawn and natural. If we grab, oh, we've got some skewify going on there, haven't we? It's got our nodes tool again. We just zoom in a bit. We just delete a couple of those. Now if we've got our selection tool, we can turn snapping back on and we should be able to drag this over and snap it back to, to the centre of that one. So now our nose, our nose has got more of a Oh, we haven't quite snapped it right, have we? What have we got snapping? Let's turn off snapping cusp nodes. So we've got snapping rotational centers and centers still enabled. So if we drag that down now, it should snap to the center. And we've got this more hand drawn looking nose. So now we've created our nose, we need to move on and create some whiskers. To create the whiskers, I'm going to make a custom brush. 
if we come over to our Bezier tool, if you look at the top, you've got shape. At the moment is none, which just gives us a normal standard line, but you have other options. So we've got triangle in. So if we drew a line, it's it starts with the wide end of a triangle and then goes to the narrow end. Um, if we select the nodes tool, you've got this little handle that allows us to adjust the thickness. Also with the triangle ones, you can actually pull them in to make the other end pointed as well. So works quite well, you can use that for different things. And another thing about this method is you can you can drag the path to bend the line. So you can create some, some nice shapes that way. Um, so that's, that's a triangle one, but the one we're interested in, if we go back to our Bezier tool, we delete that one. What else have we got? So you've got triangle in, which is starting with a wide end to a narrow end, triangle out, which is narrow end to wide end. You've got an ellipse, which just draws an ellipse and drags an ellip along, ellipse along your path. But the one we're interested in is from clipboard. So if we click on from clipboard, what this does is take a shape that you've put onto clipboard and stretch that along your path. So for now, we're going to leave it as none at the top. So we can draw our shape that we want. So I'm just going to draw like a raindrop on its side. So when we use our Bezier tool and use this as our stroke, it will take our path and stretch this shape along the path and it stretches it from the left side to the right side. So when we start the stroke, it will be at this end of the shape. And then when we finish our stroke, it'll be at the narrow end of the shape. But it's always left to right. So whatever shape you make, you can rotate it to get different effects. But it always takes from left to right when we're drawing our path. So to have this shape available to us, we need to put it onto clipboard. And to put it onto the clipboard, all we need to do is select it. We can right click and we can come down to copy. By copying it, we're putting it onto our clipboard. So now when we come over to our Bezier tool, and select from clipboard and draw a line it'll stretch our shape along that line and just like the triangles if we change to our nodes tool we get this little handle so what we can do now is stretch out our shape or thin it out and we can adjust how it appears by bending the path so we can come down and we can draw out some whiskers. So obviously these are a little bit on the thick sides. So we can sit there and adjust them to how we want them. Put up my selection tool just so we can move these around. So now let's just adjust these to how we want them. So I think that looks fairly good. Now what I want to do is flip these whiskers onto the other side. So I'm going to duplicate them and flip them over. But when we're using this, this method of using a custom brush, if we flip the shape, the stroke will stay around the same way. So we want to convert them to paths. One way of doing this is to union them together. So now if we select this, we'll take the rotational center, we need the snapping on, Put snapping back on. We take the rotational center, snap it to the center line. Then we can press Control D to duplicate. And then we can come up and we can flip it horizontally to give our second set of whiskers. Let's move this out of the way. So that's our whiskers done and dusted. Now we need some ears. So to draw our ears, I'm actually going to use the same stroke. And then we're going to adjust it the same way as we did with the um, stroke down here by converting it to a path and just tweaking it so it looks more natural. So for our ears, I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw out an ear shape. We can then get our nodes tool and we can just adjust it till we're happy with the, with its appearance. So once we're happy with how our ear is looking, I'm going to come up and convert this to a path. So I'll just grab the selection tool. I'm going to come up to path and I'm going to click on object to path 
to convert it to a path. So if we just grab our nodes tool now, we should have nodes all the way around the outside of our shape. So now we can just come in and give this little tweaks just to make it look a little bit more natural and hand drawn. If we want to add any more nodes, we can just double click at the point we want a node. And then we can just add little tweaks here and there just to make it slightly irregular. So it looks a little bit more hand drawn. Just want to get rid of some of the sharpness on that corner. There's a lot going on down there. I'm not quite sure what's going on. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add a node there. I'm going to then drag over the top of these. Let's click off for a minute. I'm going to drag over the top of these. I'm going to press delete to get rid of all the, the different nodes that were down there. I can just round the tip slightly by widening it out. We bring these in a little bit. So if we oh sorry, zoom out a bit again. Let's see how our ears looking. So I think that looks quite good actually. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this and flip it and then we'll just adjust the other one so it looks a little bit more natural. So to flip it, we need to double click on it to get our uh, rotational center. We drag that over and snap it to our center line. We can then press Control D to duplicate our ear, and then we can come up and flip horizontal to give us our second ear. Let's turn off snapping for a minute. We can just make little adjustments to our ear. We get our nodes tool. We just come in and tweak this a bit so it's a little bit. So like I say, it's these little adjustments that just make it look a little bit more like a, a hand painted stroke rather than something computer generated. We can select a few nodes if you wanted to make an adjustment like drag some of these down a little touch so it just makes it look a little bit different. Where we've sorry, where we've dragged over a few of the nodes, it selects all of those nodes. So now if we grab on them, we can drag them slightly and it'll move all of the nodes together. So let me just zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing on this one. Don't know what's going on there. Can't turn it. Tell you what, let's delete it. Like I've done, if you come in and find you've got too many nodes, you can always delete a few nodes. So we can make it so they're smooth nodes and the handles are even distance. So yeah, you've got a few options up the top. Let's zoom out and see how it's looking. So I'll get my selection tool. I'll click off and I think that's looking pretty good actually. I might just change this end of the line slightly. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is just grab my nose tool again. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to tweak this end so it looks a little bit different from the, the stroke on the other side. So I think that looks fairly good. I'm going to get rid of this one. So I'm going to get my selection tool. Get rid of this. I'm going to grab hold of the guide. Get rid of the guide. And I'm just going to drag a box over the top of all of these and group them together. So now we've got it as one item. I think in my demonstration picture, I just had it slightly tilted. Just to give it that little bit of cuteness. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, Obviously, we learned how to create custom brushes and how to tweak our lines to make them look a little bit more hand-drawn or hand-painted. Um, let me know if you've got any questions, and thanks for watching.